أما بعد يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه العزيز المحكم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاتيه ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد القرآن والذين تبوأوا الدار والإيمان من قبلهم يحبون من هاجر إليهم ولا يجدون في صدورهم حاجة مما أوتوا ويؤثرون على أنفسهم ولو كان بهم خصاصة ومن يوق شح نفسه فأولئك هم المفلحون My dear respectful brothers and sisters Today in this Friday sermon I'm trying to highlight one word in the Quran one word in one verse of the Quran I cannot explain it in detail because of the time limitation but just to highlight that word and then from there inshallah we will understand more about our life our lifestyle our life system and how we interact with each other Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم وما يلقاها إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقاها إلا ذو حظ عظيم Allah the Almighty is telling us in this verse one important wisdom which we can, on which we can apply our all our lives that word is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins this verse by saying wala tastawil hasanatu wala sayya indeed the bad things and the good things are not the same and they do not look alike they are two different things wala sayya excuse me so when Allah said the two are not the same and are not equal and they don't look alike, then you choose the right one, which is the good, the right path. And in order, to, when you are choosing that word, that uh, right path, there is there are well, there is a way to choose, and one of those ways to choose is that uh, when you are dealing with other people. If you are driven by someone or a group of people, then what what is your option? What can you do? That is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us here, saying, Itfaq billati hiya ahsan. If someone assaults you, takes your property, invade your uh, your home or uh, occupy your home invade your land, uh, backbite you, insult you, assault you, uh, kick you, you, whatever, if someone wrong against you. What do you do? What is your option? Your option is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us here in this verse, saying to us, Itfa billati hiya ahsan. You give that person Give him or give her or give them the right one, the best one. They did to you the worst, then do the best for them. What will be the result? The result is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, 
سين ولا السيئات ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم you will right away you will find that the person or the group of people who had animosity against you and there were imp between you and them you will right away find them being your best friends the closest people to you what happens is that usually in, in from psychological perspective to get a love you must have first of all what is called evolution and then you will have emotion and then you will have a reason so when you have those feelings which leads you to be a reasonable person to have the evolution and emotion and then the reason you have those three and then the, the two the first two make the reason when you have the reason then you will have love and when you have a love then you will have a convention and mess to other people you will have that feeling in your heart and in that stage you are a real human being because you feel that other person is just a part of your body why because from the very beginning all of us were from a, we came from a single soul and that soul was one then after that each one came from another from another and then that is how we got the descendants so then you are connected to every person on the face of the earth if that person is really human being i'm not saying that she he should be a muslim now that's another category but first as a humanity there first you if you take first to start as muslim and then to humanity that is another choice then you do it and when you come to that in that way you are fulfilling the word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained us to be muslims allah gave us the, the what we call al ukhuwa islamiyah the brotherhood in islam when you have that brotherhood then you extend it to humanity and to have the brotherhood then you must have the mercy and compassion and to have the mercy mercy and compassion then from the beginning you must create the love uh, which is the feeling of others from there you uh, you remove yourself from uh, what we call egocentrism that selfishness you take everything as ego to yourself and you believe you everything will be yours yours so you have personal ego and then if you even extend that you will have what is called the relative ego traditional ego clan uh, tribal ego and from there still you are dividing what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala united Allah wants human people, Muslims, to be united, one. And when they are one, you still divide them. So then you are going, you are working against Allah, against Allah's will, and your free will takes you to the uh, stage where you work against Allah, the one who created you. But on the other way, when you feel others and you take what you are not self. Uh, Uh, egocentristic, not egocentristic, not self-ego, but you take God is centristic. You take Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as your first object, and then you rely on your Allah, and you rely to yourself, then that is when you become, you take the real tawheed you have. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering us from there to say, uh, the, uh, in the case of the mu'minin, the believers, Allah is saying, رحماء بينهم تراهم ركعا سجدا يبتغون من فضل so you see they are رحماء بينهم have mercy among themselves 
And from when they have that mercy, then they start praying together. Taram ruka and sujada, they pray and make ruka and sujud together. And from after that, then they and seek the birth of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa alaikum wa astaghfirullah. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. My dear brothers and sisters, as human being, we always we know that there is satanic influence coming to us from all the corners that the shaitan has already taken the oath that he will attack mankind from any, any direction. He said, He said, Oh Allah, you will find I will attack your people from the front, from behind, from right hand, from left hand, I will attack them from all the corners. And then, because of that, you, you will not see most of them being thankful and grateful to you. But Allah gave you the answer. It says, I will feel in the hellfire of Jahannam and you and anyone who follows you. So that is the promise. But as individual, you must try to escape from that trap, to save yourself from that. How can you save that from yourself? Is that first of all, you believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you for a purpose. And when he created you, the first time you came to this earth, you didn't know anything. You didn't have any food with you. You didn't have any cash with you. When you came, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who will provide everything for you. Then why don't you rely on that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And then rely on yourself because Allah has given you the power to work to create, to become successful. When you trust in Allah, then you trust yourself. Not that first you trust in yourself. When you do that, that means you don't rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you are trying to do everything by yourself, for yourself. Then uh, you, you are not seeking help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are trying to challenge with Allah, which is not working. Because you, you, you cannot even create your own self. You cannot even know what you're going to do next minute. And you cannot protect yourself from any disease. So in all that, what I would advise myself and yourself is that, first of all, we have to know that we as a human being, we belong to Allah, the Almighty the one who created us. And we are going back to him. So we are in a temporary tour here. In that tour, then if we perform well, then it is our in our account, in our good account. If we do not work well, then it's in our bad account. It is in this way. Let us try our best to refrain from selfishness, from egos, from wrong mentalities, arrogance, anger, and all that. Because when we stop that, then we create brotherhood. And then we try, each one of us, to be self-building. And then, to be, then from there you become a, someone who is productive in the community, someone who is contributing in the community, someone who can create good in the community. And from there is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us 
in saying in Allah ya in ya murubil adu wal ihsan wa ita'i bil qurba wa yana anil fahshai wal munkar so in, in Allah always wants the good things to be established and the bad things to be avoided and from there inshallah and we will become the ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen for this earth as Christ reign and the Allah said kuntum khayr ummatin ukhrijat lil nasi ta'amiruna bin ma'arufu wa tanhaun anil munkari and the topic is too long and we cannot cover it's only that we should be uh, steadfast in the good at good latitude good attitude good structure not the wrong way <coughs> عباد الله يوصيكم توقع الله عز وجل وحذركم بنفسي ونفسكم في مخالفة الله السامع وذكركم بأمر بدأ الله بنفسي ثم أمر بملائكة إن الله وملائكته يسلمون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا فأكم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله So, this is straight to the lines. Zakula Khairan, make sure you pray with Husho. May Allah help us in praying with Husho. Allah Akbar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah ar-Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah Akbar بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم سراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين وما يلقى إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقى إلا ذو حظ عظيم وإما ينزمنك من الشيطان نزغ فاستعذ بالله الله أكبر
Sallallahu alaihi wa Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar And please, brothers and sisters, before you leave, I would like to just to remind you that we should come early for the Khutbah Jum'ah to come. We always start at 1.30, so please make sure you come before 1.30. Inshallah, for the Khutbah Jum'ah, Jazakum Allah Khair, and Salaam Alaikum.